Hello and welcome to the podcast. I'm Risa. I'm Ariana. And we're the Crowmeister Sisters. As a reminder, this podcast is ready tea for teen for strong language and mature <laughs> and mature themes. If you would like a podcast <laughs> that's not about not got that stuff, head on over to her's very own podcast, Unlocked. We'll talk about po- Unlocked in a second. What were you going to call this? <laughs> I don't know. I just forgot the word podcast <laughs> just as I was talking. That's because you went too long without recording one. You don't remember what a podcast is. I recorded a podcast just last week. Just not week. ours. Just <laughs> not ours. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, uh, over on Unlocked, I know the last time we went to write notes, I mentioned that uh, they'd spoken to, I don't know if there's been an episode since then, but that they'd spoken <laughs> to uh some fans some fans uh of some sort about that went to the convention yeah 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 uh and they still did not interview us so i'm just saying tammy tucky give us a ring yeah 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 oh and they interviewed the hardy boys voice actors they did i actually listened to that one did you I, yeah, I was like, you know what? I would love to hear them talk. They talked about candy a lot. Legit. Halloween candy, because it was like... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't They've know. They've released two episodes since we last recorded. <laughs> Dang, and they released like one a month. <laughs> Good for us. Good for what us. are we talking about tonight, sister? Uh, well, uh, uh, currently, ooh, I would like to point out, this is episode one, two, three, love it. Um, (laughs) shout out to our episode number. (laughs) Shout out to our episode number. Um, uh, we are going to be pitching our crackpot theories. As games. So, Melted Joan Cusack on Patreon, uh, asked if we, they really enjoy our crackpot theory episodes and they asked if we could do our crackpot theories as game pitches so i'm calling this one crackpot pitches um (laughs) because it sounds like a great name um sure why not i thought so i feel like most of our pitches are pretty crackpotty anyways but you know to be honest well i don't know the wrestling (laughs) one seems legit I am so down for that wrestling one. Do you know how many people like commented and said things being like, I want this now. <laughs> I'm amazed. You know? Okay. So wrestling. Crack- good. Apparently I, I'm not one for sports of any kind. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not really a just, sport. It's a performance art. I just, you know, people are having to move. I'm like, <laughs> eh. Okay. They could be dancing instead. That'd be a much better use of their time. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, okay. So I went and I looked at our, uh, like, my favorite of our crackpot theories. And I'm like, <laughs> let's make these into games. Do so it. the first one I put down is the case of Robot Nancy. And I like this one as a game that's not an actual, like, Nancy Drew game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like it as Robot Nancy breaks down. And Ned and Carson have to go on some kind of, like, they go through some crazy hijinks to uh, fix her. And it's, like, one of them is having to do, like, a Weekend at Bernie's type thing with her robot body to make people think that she's still around. (gasps) Or, like, the episode of Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon where Usagi has gone missing and her friends have to pretend to be her. Oh, Lord, I forgot about that. (laughs) That's my favorite. That's great. (laughs) But, um... Something like that. And they're having to, you know, go on this long quest to figure out how to fix Robot Nancy. Dang. And the the fixing, the robot parts were the friends we made along the way. (laughs) Or like Clue, where they move the bodies all the time. (laughs) Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Uh... I feel like we, do we need to, like, explain the theories, the the crackpot theories that go with these Oh, I guess probably. So we decided that Nancy, one of our crackpot theories is that Nancy is a robot. Uh, That's why she doesn't (laughs) age. She's just a robot. Yeah. She, you know, maybe, maybe the real Nancy died and and Carson couldn't stand it and made a robot daughter. Um, Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) 
you know. And now he's got to deal with the consequences of that. Does Ned know, though, in the game that she did he know prior? I think, I think or is maybe, this... in my opinion, it's that Nancy breaks down. Carson doesn't know what to do. He can't do it alone. So mm-hmm. he opens up to Ned about it. And it's like, okay, your original girlfriend no longer exists. <laughs> she died in a tomb collapse in Egypt. Um <gasps> There's no way she made it out of that no, one, god damn it. She was, she was shot by some guy named Mitch. Um, <laughs> Her first time out, she got yep, shot. The first case, the first case, she didn't even make it through. Dang. Yeah, see? Mitch was a bad guy, man. Yeah, he just was up on killing teenagers, you know? <laughs> I mean, he loved it. He did. Dude loved killing teenagers. <laughs> Oh, what is wrong with us? I don't know. You know, our crackpot theories are off the track right now. Uh, <laughs> all right, yeah. I'm going to pitch pitch one in the same vein of uh, of of our our theories of why Nancy doesn't age slash doesn't die. Um, the immortal Nancy Drew. I named mine. I feel like we need to, you know. I named several of mine. Yes. Actually. <laughs> Uh, the immortal Nancy Drew, in which, uh, Kate turns up, but she never died. She also never aged. And, uh, so now she has to explain to her daughter why she's been 19 for so long, and she seems to survive the most unlikely of circumstances. It's, it's, yeah. it's in their genetics. They just, they just stop aging at 19 for some reason. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. You know? And that's why Hannah is so old. <laughs> but Nancy stays the same age. It's true. It's because, you know, Nancy's been it's like it's like Twilight. How old are you? Seventeen. How long How have, have you, you been, been seventeen? 17. <laughs> Remind me to tell you about the last vampire on Earth sometime. Anyway. <laughs> that sounds intriguing. So <laughs> But I like that one. That one ties in with my Revenants, the teachers. I think so. Revenant, the teachers. Sorry, I just kind of went, yeah. Mm. Revenant, uh, colon, the teachers. Yes. So this this adds on to our lovely crackpot theory that uh, Revenant from the Silent Spy are actually the Anunnaki. <laughs> um, because, you know, that it, I feel like it was hinted at. You I know? think it was. Ned did all that research and found out that, like, Revenant is kind of thought of to be, like, guardians of the world, you know? They're just, you know, they're teaching people things. No one knows, like, which side they're on kind of a thing. Are they agents of chaos or are they agents of order? Who knows? But you know what that also sounds like? (laughs) Sunny June's description of the Anunnaki. I was going to say aliens. Exactly. Aliens. So, I'm just saying that the reason that Kate Drew went missing is that really she was just, she became part of the Anunnaki, you know? And so the entirety of the Silent Spy was just a test for Nancy to see if she was ready. And at that point, she wasn't. Yeah. But now she is. So, what, what made her not ready before? She was still too attached to people on Earth. Oh. Yeah. You know? What? Okay. Okay, sure. sure also, sure. the crystal skull is, is in there somewhere as well. She <laughs> was... That's, like, really, they tried her then, and she lost the crystal skull, so they're yeah. like, no, she's not ready. And then they tried her again with the silent spy, and they were like, no, she's still not ready. But now, now she's ready. Did... And so, Kate Drew contacts nancy seemingly from beyond the grave but not really so she's like nancy we're finally going to let you in but first you have to help us solve this mystery which is just another test isn't it always though yeah and phone friend sunny june phone friend sunny june (laughs) because kate told sunny to look out for nancy like be on the lookout for this girl because we need to start testing her, too. Yeah. 
Maybe she was, like, born one of the Anunnaki, like Scooby-Doo. Um, <laughs> that's why Scooby can talk. Canonically. He's, <laughs> he's a descendant of the Anunnaki. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck are you telling me right now? <laughs> In the new, like... The one that came out in the early 2010s Uh version of Scooby-Doo, it's found out that Scooby is a descendant of the Anunnaki, and that's why he can talk. (laughs) That is the same one where, the same series, where Velma had a friend named Hot Dog Water. Named Hot Dog Water, yeah. (laughs) So... Scooby's an Anunnaki. Great. Awesome. Yeah, Scooby's okay. part of the Anunnaki. <clears throat> like Nancy. <laughs> Just like Nancy. <laughs> Just like Nancy Drew. The Anunnaki have the most, the brightest and the best on their side. Nancy Drew, Scooby-Doo, other names that don't <laughs> rhyme with ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 But I, I mean, really, if we want to get into it, scooby do Nancy Drew. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm just. Well, to be fair, his name is Scoobert. Nansert. <laughs> Nancine. Nancine. <laughs> Someday we're going to have to do an episode about Nancy's middle name, which she doesn't have. Nancy Paul Bunyan Drew. I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> okay. Nancy Anunnaki Drew. <laughs> it was her Aliens mother's... always take us off track. Okay. <laughs> it was her mother's maiden name. <laughs> <clears throat> but yes. There's Revenant the Teachers. Excellent. Excellent pitch. Very well executed. Um... <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> going off in an entirely different direction, uh, let's focus on Ned. <laughs> in The Secret of the Hidden Neds. I wasn't really sure what I meant with that. I think at the time I meant, like, there was going to be, like... Evidence that there had been past Neds? Yeah. That have, like, been replaced and yeah. gone missing? Like, I don't know if, like... Maybe once they age out of it or whatever, they form, like, a secret society of Neds. Yes. Or something like that. But, like... Absolutely. Because Ned always ages with Nancy, but Nancy never ages, so... Exactly. For, you know, either robotic or immortal reasons, she doesn't age, and Neds do. Uh, And so now, somebody comes looking for Charlie... Dum dum dum, and finds that he's going by Ned Nickerson now because that's where we got that char that Ned. I'm sorry. Are these Neds being brainwashed? Do they all think their name is Ned now? Does Nancy even remember switching from Ned to Ned? No. See, na- for Nancy, it's like this this weird. She sees a person and's like, "Oh, you're Ned." She just always identifies somebody as Ned. Yeah, she's like, mm, yeah, this guy's a total Ned. <laughs> oh, and then suddenly, he's hiding out in this basement, studying history. That is a total Ned. I'm just saying that maybe <laughs> that's why Ned keeps getting, like, slight personality changes. Mm-hmm. Like, the Ned that went through all that stuff in Captive Curse with her is the Ned who went all the way through the Silent Spy, but Mm -hmm. then, and, you know, he got too attached in the Silent Spy, so she had to get rid of him. And now, the new... (laughs) Oh, this this Ned is getting way too bitchy. You're gone. (laughs) Yeah, and so then it's a different Ned, and then Sea of Darkness is going to be the end of that Ned, because he was a real dick in that game. So she gets back from Iceland, kills him, and finds a new one. (laughs) Yes! I will take him this sword as a present. Exactly. (laughs) Here, Ned, I brought you a gift from Iceland. 
<laughs> oh, she makes that noise when she kills them, too, by the way. <laughs> That's the Nancy killing Ned noise. Of course. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. How about, how about the next one? <laughs> yeah, so my next one is Dwayne and Anya strike back. I like you know, it. just going for the a Star twosome. Wars theme. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Is anything else I, on here Star Wars theme? No. Then why did you feel the need to make this one Star Wars theme? <laughs> because I was watching The Mandalorian. Oh, I see. You got Disney Plus? <laughs> Sorry, we'll get back to you. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I'm just saying that we have in the past stated that Anya and Dwayne Powers course Anya Middlemeyer if, if anyone was trying to remember who I'm talking about Tits McGee Tits McGee. there we go yeah. now you got mm-hmm. it in your head you got it um that she uh and Dwayne Powers met uh and now they're both plotting together on Nancy's you know Nancy's demise really mm-hmm. is what they're trying to do so I would think oh wow you came up with a much better idea than me. So oh, why did don't I? you read it? <laughs> well, what was yours? I don't know. I was just th- thinking, like, they're just, like, torturing Nancy, you know? They're just like, mm-hmm. I'm here. No, wait. I'm here, you know? Like, smoke and mirrors. appearing, disappearing. I swear, I saw, uh, what's his name? Shit. Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> David Daniel. Darcy? D- uh, Damien. D- <laughs> exactly. And then, you know, Anya shows up as, but she gets like full disguises. She's got like, she's a flight attendant. No, now she's your, your waitress. And she's got a completely different wig and like she contours her face. And she speaks different languages. So I'm sure sure that she could like easily pick up accents too. So she, I feel like that would really muddy the water of their, uh, their partnership. I know that's what causes their downfall is that, is that Dwayne ends up double crossing her in the end because he's like, no, I'm the best actor. You're just supposed to be the writer. I'm the actor. Exactly. Yeah. He just does that. (laughs) He just does that. I love it. I like it. It's good. Yeah. But then your idea for that title. Oh, yeah. My idea was just that uh, they they organize a rogues gallery of uh, Nancy Drew villains who want to get back at Nancy, like utilizing Emily's ruthlessness and and historical knowledge and Taylor Sinclair's connections to um, wherever the fuck he gets his 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 uh, illegal artifacts um <laughs> using andy jason's con- <laughs> yes. andy jason's contact with whales mm-hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> he communes with whales hey jason we need we need something from you we need we need an orca oh i've got just the orca for the job <laughs> andy jason is just evil aquaman <laughs> Definitely. He's anti-Aquaman in every way. He's not good looking. He... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like it. I dig it. And, uh, you know, let's let's think of other people that, other people. that they've, uh, they've yeah, pulled into this. Yeah, I was like this. thinking, uh, they didn't actually pull Renee into it. She just kind of showed up showed and started up. doing shit. She claims she's doing some kind of voodoo magic on her, uh, Everybody just lets her stay in her own little corner. Uh, but. <laughs> As you do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, Brenda Carlton, who you reminded me exists. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she definitely is, is like trying to. She, she, she's doing all the research about where Nancy yeah, is and how definitely. they mess, you know. What case is she working on right now? Yeah. You know? Rentero is, you know, gaslighting someone to help them, you know. I mean, what else is he going to do? <laughs> Lisa's yeah. insisting she has some idea of, of what, what to do, but she doesn't. In fact, yeah. I feel like I feel like Anya would, like, kick her out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You know? And then Thanos is there to kill people. Yes. Nobody invited him. He just showed up and they're... 
They're not going to tell him to go away. Niobe and Grigar did not, did not no. respond to the RSVP. Um, yeah. You know, they're trying to, to go clean. They're trying Lori to- Gerard, she, she's just funding, funding it with daddy's money. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's just funding. She's money. way too busy right now because she's got a movie she's working on. That was that went a little uh, Dr. Kim. A little Dr. Kim, yeah. I, I feel like a lot of the times I go a little too Dr. Kim on everything. <laughs> Makes me sound very nasal. <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah. Big Island Mike involved? That's the real question. He already knows how to cover up a murder. Well, see, and here's <gasps> the thing. Oh my gosh, he does. Well, I, I say, already know my next game I'm going to, <laughs> to what no. if Nancy Drew in the case of of the of Pua's mom she's going back in she's been called in by like the locals and she's she's pulling up a cold case of that she finds out is actually Pua Mapu's mother whoa but she doesn't know it at first because because her mom didn't take on like the Mapu the name yeah yeah, so she figures out, and then she finds out oh, she was murdered. Uh, by her daughter! By her daughter! And there's a whole cover-up, and then we find it out. And this is a sequel to Creature of Kapu Cave. It's called Nancy Drew Creature of Kapu Cave 2. Um, <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. Um, exactly. Yeah. No, but I was going to say that uh, Big Island Mike uh, doesn't even want to get back at Nancy. He's like, no, I'm not dealing with that. But for, uh, obviously, he ends up owing money to some bad dudes again. <laughs> because he doesn't know how not to. Yeah. He's just, he's a bad businessman. Yeah. Just taking <laughs> loans from people all the time who just yeah. are nefarious. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's got, he's got no sense, man. <laughs> I got no, no, no sense. I, I no think sense it's... at all. I'm going to take a loan from him. He seems awesome. Who talks yeah. like that? Anyway. So, yeah. Uh... My dad owes money to some really bad guys. <laughs> really bad men. Whatever it is. Yeah, whatever the fuck she says. It doesn't matter. It's not. It's cool motive, still a crime. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, the crime of murder. <laughs> I will not give that up. I don't even know what up. is supposed to be a crime because honestly, I never remember what the actual crime ends up being that they could possibly charge them with in that game. <laughs> exactly. And thusly, when they once they get pulled into the whole thing, it becomes a muddled mess, and Anya has no idea what's going on anymore. That's the only reason. So she kills Mike Mapu. <laughs> And then Pua goes to Nancy and is like, they killed my father. <gasps> and? <laughs> no, I was oh being Nancy. Being like, uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit of a visual. <laughs> Drinks, tea, coffee, whatever. Coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. coffee Drinks coffee, out coffee, of a coffee. mug. <laughs> okay, um, last one. But yeah, gonna move on to my favorite <clears throat> theory that I have ever come across in my Nancy Drew crackpot theory searches. It's called Brain in a Jar. <laughs> Nancy begins to question what's going on with the seemingly immortal and never never seen PJ Krollmeister. Wait, is it PJ PG. or PG? PG. P.G. Krollmeister. Edit that. Uh, <laughs> as she follows the clues, she stumbles upon a brain in a jar that says, through an accompanying computer, Oh, hello, Nancy. He's a brain yeah. in a jar. But that's not figured out until until way later. P.G. PG Krollmeister, Krollmeister was, was Birdsy Malone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yes. Oh, brain in a no. jar attached to a scarecrow. Yeah. Yeah. A, a weird metal scarecrow thing. Terrifying. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. 
But yeah, no, that's, that's, guys, that's the best theory. The bright in the jar theory. I mean, it's perfect. It's It's so good. It's a thing. It's definitely a thing. (laughs) It's all about like, oh my gosh, Maya, Maya Nguyen gets into this whole, like, she's been, people are like, oh man, Krollmeister Company has been doing all of these all of these sketchy things. And so she starts delving in and then she's like, did you know the founder had the same name as the current owner? And we have, his name was PG too. The stupid name. I mean, I I assume that it's, you know, I'm joking. I mean, I should hope so, but you know, (laughs) yeah. So those are, (laughs) Our game pitches based on crackpot theories, um, which is <laughs> That's a you know mouthful. a thing a thing to say. Um, <laughs> if you guys would like to tell us your crackpot theories, we absolutely love hearing them. So please tell us them on our Twitter, our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, and our fancy website CrawlmeisterSisters.KnifeFightClub.com. You can also find us on Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, and Spotify. And you can leave us uh, reviews and let people know why we're awesome so that they listen to us. And maybe, maybe Tammy Tucky realizes we're alive and interviews us. <laughs> yeah, Tammy Tucky. You can also subscribe to us on Twitch to that, to get access to our cute little wine glass emote as well as Podcast Night VODs. Or you can support us on Patreon for Podcast Night VODs as well as weekly stream cat pictures. So, which have been coming out mostly on time. Ooh. Yeah. Timeliness. Yeah. <laughs> so, as a reminder, I'm Risa. I'm Ariana. And we're the Crowmeister Sisters. And we're asking you guys to stay seriously.